She's stateless, but her adopted Canadian family has been trying to bring her home to Ontario for the last few years. So far, they've been unsuccessful, and they say time is almost running out. I'm Faisal Amin in front of the Ontario legislature. Now the little girl's father says the province's recent involvement is raising more concerns. We've been telling you about her story. Even some of Canada's highest officials, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, know would lean Alexis Earl. But there's also stuff going on on the Dominican side, yeah, right? it's been shipped to Ottawa. Good. The now 12-year-old was born in the Dominican Republic to a Haitian mom who died when she was just a toddler. For eight years, Vaden Earl has tried to adopt her and bring her home to Canada. After recently getting a rejection letter from the Ministry of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, they're starting the process again. So we then resubmitted those documents since then. And um, now they, they have them again, but it seems as if that process has come to a halt because of the provincial involvement. Earl, who moved to the Dominican Republic to be with Woodleen, says neither nation, Haiti, or the Dominican Republic would claim her. And her stateless status has compromised her safety and made her the target of mass deportation sweeps. For that reason, Earl says when asked, he told Ontario's Ministry of Children and Youth Services not to share their personal information with officials in either nation. But he claims the ministry went against his wishes. So I've not spoken to a Dominican official that says, yes, we've got it all. However, I've spoken to some contacts within the Haitian Central Authority, and they did confirm that it was shared with Dominican authorities as well. He believes this breach led to him getting detained by local police in the DR and later taken for a drive where he was threatened. And they just really tried to shake me down and scare me into backing off of this whole thing. We reached out to the ministry about this and they told us they were looking into what happened. But Earl shared these emails with us, which he says were sent to him from the province. The first was sent to him on Monday. A portion of that email read that the ministry has followed up with authorities in Haiti to confirm the documents. The second sent to him shortly after City News inquired about this case. It read, I can confirm the ministry has not contacted the Dominican or Haitian authorities. I'm sorry that my earlier correspondence could have been interpreted as such. I'm concerned that this has become one of those things where she may start to feel that we're all in danger, all because of helping her, and I don't want her to bear that on her shoulders either. Baden Earl tells me the family is now in the process of moving out of their home in the Dominican Republic as he says they no longer feel safe there. In Toronto, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.